Hey everybody, welcome back. These are some weddings I'm putting on blast. Good morning! That's it, I'm wedding shaming. Am I the a-hole for telling people not to eat the food at my sister's wedding? My husband, 27 male, and I, 26 female, were married eight months ago. We had a big wedding with lots of food and drinks and people. I knew we would likely have leftovers, so had arranged them to be donated to the soup kitchen we sometimes work with. That is very nice of you. I feel like more people should do that. However, my mom went behind my back and took most of it with her. I didn't really know what happened with the food. Where's this going? Is it going where I think it's going? I think it is. Is it? Until now. My sister Callie got married married over the long weekend. She didn't want to mess with any of the planning and knowing how my mom was during my wedding, decided to let her mom take over the whole thing. All we had to do was show up where we were told and party. The ceremony was beautiful, but it was when the buffet was revealed, I noticed something odd. Oh, it is going there, isn't it? Oh, we are gonna go there, aren't we? Did anyone else just get like salivating? <laughs> you know, when you like feel kind of sick and then your body prepares you to be sick and it like coats your esophagus and your mouth in saliva, that's what just happened to me. <laughs> the food looked eerily familiar, like identical to what I had for my wedding, except a little more dried out and sad. Me, I'm the food. That's my impression. Pretty good though, right? No, that was awful. I hate it when you make noises, Charlotte. You don't have an accent. Stop pretending you have an accent. You're sounding a lot like the people in my comments. Are you just my troll from now on? Yes. I'm bigger than you. And I also control you, by the way. You are nothing without me. You're just a plastic stick. Well, you're just an actress that nobody wanted to hire. All right, okay, you're gonna go in the drawer. Get me the out of here. I don't think I will, I don't think I will. I found an opening and went to ask my mom about it where she happily told me she saved a fortune. You won't save a fortune when you get sued. That'll be a fortune. <laughs> By unfreezing the food from my wedding to serve to the guests now. I was horrified and immediately voiced my concerns about safety. She got upset and said I was acting like a snob and should be happy the food wasn't going to waste. I argued that it was never gonna be wasted, but she wouldn't hear it. I didn't wanna make a scene, but I was worried about people getting sick. So I snuck off to see my sister. She was horribly embarrassed, mentioned that mom said something about saving money, but didn't question it because she didn't want to foot the bill like I had. She told me not to eat the food and thanked me for the warning. From there, my husband and I discreetly started Started telling some guests to be weary of the food and the rest of the night was fine. Can we just like order pizza? My mom caught some flack for being cheek, but I've also been catching heat. Some of our relatives have been saying that I intentionally made my family look bad. If you don't want to look bad, don't do bad things or I'll put you in the drawer. The food was fine and it was frozen and then defrosted for the wedding. They said no one would have known if I didn't make a stink over it. I think I would want to know if the food I was eating was frozen and then defrosted. Especially if it's like already cooked meat. That is disgusting. That food was probably sitting out at your wedding for a few hours. And like, if it's not eaten that night, then like, I don't know, maybe it was safe. I'm not an expert. Would it have been safe? I'm curious to know how you guys feel about this. I don't know if I did anything wrong. I could use some help and would like to know if I should apologize. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole, OMG. It's not that it was stored frozen for eight months. It's that it sat on a buffet table for God knows how long at your wedding, then your mother's car before it was frozen. This is not only tacky, but super dangerous. This is what I'm saying. It would be one thing if it was like uncooked meat, like you didn't get around to cooking it, you stored it in the freezer, but this was already out and probably like the, like the microbes, the bacteria. My mom told me when I was growing up, I always got these 24 hour flus. I remember them throwing up, unable to eat, miserable. It makes you a normal human adult. Sounds like what I had a couple months ago. It wasn't until I grew up that I realized what it actually was, food poisoning. She poisoned me many times by serving expired, dented, damaged food. She leaves food out for extended times, reheats multiple times, whatever. If it saves 10 cents, it doesn't matter if it tastes off. Just scrape the fuzzy stuff off. Oh, not the fuzzies! The only time when it's okay to scrape the fuzzies off is like on cheese. Cheese. You know, just like cut around it. What am I admitting to exactly? No, you can, you can do that, right? All right, you're not the a-hole, my dear you should be happy that you saved your mom from a lot of potential lawsuits. It's totally possible to cut corners at a wedding and like find cheaper ways to have food. Like people can cook things. If there's only 50 people, you can make some casseroles or something. Get some pizza, some crowd pleasers, some tacos. Tacos are a good crowd pleaser. You don't need to unfreeze eight month old wedding food. I don't wanna eat that. Fellow brides, my maid of honor has just announced that she is pregnant and she's due around my 
my wedding day. Her and her husband have been trying for a while and I would like to feel happy for her, but I'm seriously considering kicking her out of the wedding. Oh God, you should. Ugh, pregnant women are just so selfish. I feel she has deliberately done this to take the attention away from me. <laughs> I hate it when they do that. Why are there so many people that feel this way, honestly? Do bridezillas just expect everybody around them to not consummate for like the entire year before their wedding? Stop being pregnant. You know what, I'm gonna start being pregnant even harder. The only problem is she's my sister and my parents are telling me to postpone the wedding for her. I'm not postponing my day as we've had the venue booked since November, 2022. Even my fiance is taking her side. Am I being dramatic? Can you get your deposit back? If you can't get the deposit back, I would say just go ahead with it. But if you can get the deposit back, just <laughs> and see if you can get a later date. Holy moly, please take the deposit for your wedding and invest in a therapist. <laughs> It's gonna be a couple thousand bucks to deal with that. I'm not gonna lie. It'll work out perfectly. I'm a maid of honor in my friend's wedding. She goes by her middle name, which is Rachel. My first name is Rachel. I'm honestly unsure how to answer. Like, ma'am, I'm not changing my name for your wedding. How could you do this to me? So we've been friends forever, right? Good. I just have one request for you as my maid of honor. Change your name, please. You know, it just keeps getting crazier. Just when I think that I've seen it all, I see something like this. There can only be one Rachel on my big day. I think I'm probably just gonna hang out in my room. Oh, you're hella de Lulu, eh? Is this a joke? Like, are we joking? Cause that's really funny. That's a really funny joke. Do you find it? Who is able? I hope it's a joke. For your sake, I hope it's a joke or you're going in the drawer. Oh, look who has escaped. Bottom, bottom. Bottom, 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 bottom. <laughs> there can only be one Bridezilla, and it's me. You're the OG, don't worry. So this was a wedding booked by the young lady in the back wiping a tear. The bride was on a low budget and that's her best friend. She wanted to have quality photos of her special day. Well, the one on her phone is the husband's sister. She's on her phone the whole ceremony. Do I deliver these? My husband looked at me crazy when I said I was going to, but what do I do? Only deliver pictures of the groom's side? Doesn't seem fitting, thoughts. That is just like, come on, man. After a certain point, being on your phone is straight up disrespectful. Like you can't not look at your phone for 20 minutes to watch your brother get married. Personally, this is something to me that she's doing on purpose. And to answer your question, I would say, you should deliver what you have so that the bride knows exactly what was going on. I would want to know if that was what's happening behind me. See if there's a way to Photoshop her out. <laughs> I think that there probably is. Like I could do a quick, let me just see. You can watch me live Photoshop. <laughs> You get the point. So you essentially stamp it until you get rid of that person. And that was like a 30 second job. Obviously I'm not like tooting my horn or anything. I'm not that good at Photoshop. <laughs> You've seen my thumbnails, they're awful. But you get my point. Am I the a-hole for stopping payment on a large check I wrote for my husband's cousin as a wedding gift? I, 28 female and my husband, 29, have been invited to his cousin's wedding about six months ago. All the guests were required to get them gifts either beforehand on the registry or upon arrival. I went to the wedding with we and they had a lot of expensive things, the cheapest being around 150. My husband and I are very well off and his cousin is aware. His cousin and I were also friends for 10 years, so I know she's into the finer things. The wedding was mid-December and when we arrived, she asked us why we didn't buy anything from the registry when everyone else did and why we had such a small box in our hand before greeting us. Oh, that's weird. I'm telling you, there are expensive things that come in small packages. <laughs> Those look pretty big to me, above average. I was taken aback. I told her we we had something special for her and she would appreciate it far more than the material things we saw on the registry. She laughed and said it was funny how we probably had the most money but decided to be cheap a-holes. She made a scene and it was hella awkward. Oh, absolutely not. At least open the gift first. Seriously? In the little box was a letter and an envelope with a $15,000 check to help her and her husband on their infertility issue. Holy shit. That is probably one of the most thoughtful gifts I've ever heard of. That's insane to me. I would be really pissed off too. The imagine the amount of thought and care that was put into this gift. And for her to just like insult you before she even looked at it or found out what it was, it's like, bro. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Shame. They've been trying for years and were informed the treatment would be around $10,000. My husband and I paid it together because we know how much that would mean. Plus it was well in our budget. 
We added the extra 5K just to make life a little easier because we know they've been struggling financially since the pandemic. Well, aren't you the nicest, most thoughtful person? Anywho, after causing a scene, she ripped the box out of my hand and left. My husband and I walked out and quickly canceled the check. Good. After realizing what was in the box, she apologized for embarrassing us and kicking us out. She kicked you out? When she tried to deposit it, it obviously didn't work. She's been blowing up our phone saying how awful we are and how we're taking away her dream to start a family. No, listen, see, look around and find out. We do not reward bad behavior in this house and you should not in your house either. Although some people say we aren't a-holes and she isn't entitled to our money, others say we are and need to give it back to her because we can afford it to while they can't. Saying we are rubbing our wealth in her face, which isn't true. No, I'm sorry, she insulted you. We've always been very generous to her. So then why did she say that you're being cheap? This is the thing about being generous. It's like, once you start being really generous, people really rely on your generosity and they start to expect it. Never expect generosity from anyone. Never expect a friend to pay for your drinks. Never expect them to pay for your food. Never expect them to give you a $15,000 check after you insult them and kick them out of your wedding. Come on. Although I feel bad, I'm disgusted by her reaction and refuse to have a relationship with someone who's clearly in our lives for money. This is what I'm saying. Money makes people crazy, man. Here is where I might be the a-hole though. I can be a little petty. Oh, what'd you do? What'd you do, babe? So I donated about the same amount of money to a charity helping with girls' education around the world and posted it on Facebook. <laughs> My husband also shared my post. We have pettiness in common. Oh, oh gosh. Oh yes. True love is petty love, isn't it? You know you found your petty partner when you can be petty together. She's pissed and so is my husband's family. <laughs> Why does it make her so upset that you're giving money to a charity? You're just being charitable. You think this is funny? Not the a-hole. I was a bit torn here because you'd already given her the gift, but I mean, she ripped it out of your hand, so that does change things. And $10,000 is a lot of money. She was ridiculously rude. It doesn't matter how rich you are, it's incredibly rude to mock someone because a present isn't as big as they believe it should be. And even now she can't see she brought this about. You're better off without her in your life, period. You're not the a-hole, my dear. And that bridezilla's going in the drawer with a lot of them. Subscribe!